This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Sand Dollar. This design is stitched by first quilting a large circle into your quilting space. And you're going to be stitching many different circles of many different sizes, but this one that I started with was roughly the size of a quarter. You're going to go inside of the circle with a closed spiral. So you're going to uh, basically fill in the whole area. You're not leaving space for yourself to get out. Once you get into the center to make the sand dollar look like a sand dollar, you're going to stitch straight lines right through the center. So that first you stitch straight up, then to the diagonal, uh, then uh, horizontally through the circle, and then on the other diagonal. And this creates, this is almost like a combination of peppermint candy, which is an early design in the project, and bright star which was uh, featured around Christmas time last year. It's kind of a combination of the two and when I looked at it when they came together I thought well this looks so much like a sand dollar um, a kind of an abstract sand dollar that is. To move to the next one simply butt up the next one to the edge of the sand dollar you created and continue to create more circles of different shapes and sizes. You can see kind of the texture that this creates as you work around filling your piece. And there's something that you can do, kind of play with, and that is choosing whether to take the straight lines all the way to the edges of the spiral. And you can see a few of those, uh, the lines haven't been taken all the way to the edges, and it does change the look a little bit. It looks just ever so slightly different, and I think that's something that you should definitely play with and see which way you like it the best, because it does change a little bit of the texture of the design. You are going to have to wiggle in some sand dollars in some pretty weird spaces, and in those situations, as you can see, just kind of chop the whole thing in half, uh, or stitch a much smaller version of it. Uh, you know, you don't have to have a super tight spiral, and you can, if you stitch your spirals too tightly, that could definitely cause some thread buildup. But it's a very easy design, and it's very fun to stitch. And here's what it looks like when you finish it. Check out more designs and lots of tools and supplies to make free motion quilting easy at daystyledesigns.com.